Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a very cool pattern out of New Zealand. We're going to tie the Matuka. Excellent pattern for me. It gets crushed in small streams. Fish love it. Very versatile. And we're going to get started right now. So in the vise today, I have a TMC 5262 in a size 4. And for thread, I'm just using all of 6 aught. Um, the thread color doesn't matter. You can vary it up. So how I like to tie this is just to start a thread base, tie my wire in, which I'm going to use to rib this and hold the wing down. And then I'm going to start dubbing a body. So I just have a cool little mix of dubbing. Um, I have black, brown, a little bit of orange in here. Um, one reason I really like this pattern is, one, it seems to fish in just about every color. And you can vary it and kind of make some cool looking flies in this uh, you know general pattern so start with that and start dubbing that another way I like to tie this I like to tie it really really sparse with just like a mylar or tinsel body um, but I'm actually gonna fish this this weekend where I'm heading to I know the fish the water's moving pretty fast I know the fish like a wider profile just got to keep dubbing my body and just building it up and use all this dubbing I have if you can kind of make a torpedo shaped body it definitely looks better and gives kind of a minnow profile so forwards back and then I'm also going to dub in a hot spot here too all right let me use the rest of this a little bit of dubbing Okay, this is where I'm going to put my hot spot. So I just have like a, kind of the orange that I mixed in here with the black and a little bit of brown. Um, and I, I do like to put hot spots on these. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I like the way it looks and it can't hurt. <laughs> All right, so right here. And just a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to tie here when I'm done with my body is the wing. And how you do this is what makes it a matuka. Um, so originally used feathers from the matuka bird. So today I have cocktailion in kind of a dark speckled black and brown. I think it looks really cool with that body. So what I'm going to do is just kind of measure this. And you can vary the length of the tail. Um, I, like to, I like it to extend about a half a shank back so about there so what I'm gonna do is I actually have two in my hand I'm gonna measure them and strip out the bottom fibers here so just like that what that's gonna do is kind of give me a place when I wrap this I'm gonna tie this down with the wire and you'll see it's gonna sit right on top of that body so I'm just gonna pinch wrap that there and make sure when I tie this down that they are right on top of the hook shank, they are. So we're just gonna tighten this up a little bit after I have it positioned, and then begin by wrapping my wire forwards through this. Um, my goal here is not to trap down too many fibers. It's not a big deal if you do, you can pick them out later. So just begin wrapping your wire and keeping that feather right on top of the hook shank. I'm really liking this color combo. nice open spirals and even though it's a feather wing it's an incredibly durable fly just because you rib it and sometimes I think these things fish better when they get chewed up a little bit just bring that forwards tie that off and I'm Building up a little bit of a head. Let me get rid of this tail here. Let's tag in. Okay. I'm just going to use my bobbin here to support my hook while I helicopter that off. So I'm going to tie in one more of these Cocktailion feathers. Um, I'm going to strip some of the fuzzies off, but not all of them. And what I'm going to do here is 
just palmer this forwards and create a little bit of a head. So wrap that with the shiny side facing you. All right, trim this butt. So I'm gonna leave my thread hanging here, grab this feather, kind of stroke the fibers back, just like you would with a soft tackle, and begin wrapping this forwards. Making, making sure that it lays the way that you want it to. Which it's twisting on me. That's okay. Let's see if I can fix it. Okay. So, I'm actually going to leave that there just like that. Tie that off. Then I'm going to pull this back and kind of come over it with my thread again. Just sweep all of that back. So rotate this and just trim out this feather. Build up a little bit of a head. This would be another cool place to put a hot spot too if you had like a, a neon red thread or if I had an orange thread here. I think it would look cool too. Just got a whip finish. Um, So just gonna cut off the thread here, grab some head cement, and you guys can find all the materials listed below in our description. And we also have them all available on tridentflyfishing.com. Just a little bit of head cement. Make sure you guys hit subscribe, click the bell to be notified of all of our future fly tying videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.